vocal percussion on a whole nother level coming from my mind. I studied Arabic back in the day when I was in university. So throughout my years watching anime, I noticed that some of the Japanese words are similar to Arabic words. So that is why I'm gonna share with you 10 Japanese words that are similar with Arabic words. Please note that this is just a simple knowledge sharing based on what I learned in Arabic and my experience in watching anime. So let's get to it. Number one, we have sama. In Japanese, it refers to honorific suffix used to address people with high positions. We often heard like hime sama, which means princess. So we use sama to address the princess. Similar to Arabic, we also have sama, and the meaning is quite similar. It literally means rise high. So there's a quite connection between Arabic and Japanese right there. Rise high, higher positions. Okay, let's move on to the second word, which is sakana. Sakana in Japanese means fish, while in Arabic can be translated live in or stay in. So this one doesn't have any connection with it, but still the same word for both language. The third one is, I'm sure you know this, baka. Baka in Japanese, yes, you can guess it, it's idiot, while in Arabic, cry. Move on to the next word, minna, with double n there. In Japanese, can be translated into you guys, and in Arabic, it can be translated from us or among us. Hmm, okay. And the fifth word is anta. Anta is a common word you might heard while watching anime. It means you. In Arabic, we have the same exact word for anta, meaning you also. So this word, we have the similar pronunciation and similar meaning. Except for in Japanese, we say anta for both men and women. But in Arabic, anta we use for only men. If we want to call you for women, we change it to anti. Next word is umi. Umi in Japanese means ocean or sea. While in Arabic, we have ummi with double M there. So ummi means mother. Next, minato. In Japanese, we have minato which means harbor. And in Arabic, we have mina which also translated to harbor. So mina, minato. Next, in Japanese, we have kotoba. As you can guess, it means words. While in Arabic, we have kataba which means write. So, write words. A little connection there. Next up, tori. Tori in Japanese means bird, while in Arabic, ta'ir. Yeah, almost the same, right? And last one, and last word that I'm gonna share with you guys is sake. We know that sake is a famous Japanese alcohol. So, in Arabic, we have saki with Q there, which can be translated into barkeeper. So we know that in bar they serve alcohol, right? So yeah, a little connection there also. So that's all 10 Japanese words that are similar with Arabic words. Some of it got the exact same meaning and some of it there's a little connection and some of them have a totally different meaning. So now you know it. Let me know what you think in the comment below. As always, thank you for watching. I'll see you guys later. Bye bye.